from the record-breaking Sharjah Cricket Ground. Thanks for joining us from around the world for what promises to be a wonderful series. Very important in the context of the ICC qualifiers for the World Cup. The UAE taking on the visiting West Indies. One match done and dusted, but two still to go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in Sharjah for this second one day international between the UAE and the West Indies and we're at the most, most very important toss. We've got the captains from each side, Mohamed Wasim from the UAE, Shea Hope from the West Indies and of course legend and match referee Javagal Srinath. The home captain Mohamed Wasim has got the coin. Tears. Tears is a call by Shea Hope. It is Tears. So you've won the toss yet again. What will you be doing and why? We'll be batting. Let's get the bowlers out of this heat for once. Well, lots of changes in the home team and that figures because uh, they are preparing for bigger battles ahead. So Love Preet Singh comes in, the batsman on the top of the order, Basil Hamid, uh, Hamid the all-rounder in the middle, Sanchit with his leggies, he places Karthik who is uh, taken for plenty and Aditya Shetty also makes it into the UAE team. One change, Akeem Jordan comes in, your thoughts on that? Because Kima bowled really well in that first match but I suppose a little bit of experimentation on the cards. Here we go. Second ODI. Oh, just a little lazy on that cut. Oh, pretty. In the gap between extra cover and mid off. Oh, pitched up. Uh, oh, a misfield that will give. Charles, a boundary. That's very unfortunate. Well, again, just a shade to fall. Now the sweet cover drive. Oh, lofts it. Could it be the first six of the match? And it's a big one. Wow, Brandon King. This time he catches hold of it. It's a big one over mid-wicket. That's what Johnson Charles can do. Brandon King again. Dominance continuing from the first one international. Gone all the way for six. Straight and straight enough. Oh, you, that is so good, Johnson Charles. Accessing the 360 degrees of the field. Oh, majestic. That may be the best of the lot because it was not as full as King would have wanted. Still, though, finds a way. These lads play a lot of domestic cricket. And that's 50 for Johnson Charles. He spent close to five years away from this format. It just takes just two matches for him to get to his fifth one day international half century. Been a mature and responsible innings from the opener Brandon King put that in a museum and leave it there beautifully done oh that is just too good from Charles and too much flight on offer for a man with this power. Goes again. This time bigger and more convincing. Johnson Charles dealing in maximums. And you take this good comeback from the youngster. Just the three to win number 16. And that is also... 50 for Brandon King and that is to add to the century that he got in game number one. This does West Indies a world of good before they head into Zimbabwe for the qualifiers. And just like that, he lifts one. There is an opportunity. It goes over long gone. A desperate attempt, but how good is that from Brandon King? This one, there is a fielder there, straight to long on, and wicket number one for the home team.
picks up a wicket here. Johnson Charles just a shade tired, didn't quite find the timing. Found long on instead, yet a very good hand by the man who's making his return for the West Indies. 63 from only 47, an aggressive knock. The West Indies finally lose the wicket for 129. Speaking of impressive, it's gone high. And I think he may have done an excellent job at the boundary, Basil Hamid. It could be very close. Brandon King is not sure. Wow, what an effort though. Good presence of mind and awareness. Didn't get it high enough, I thought. Ooh. This is going to be a very tough decision for the umpires. And there it is. Wicket. One of the best fielding efforts you will see from Basil Hamid. And it takes that to get a brilliant clear in Brandon King. 64 from 70. 151 for two. Oh, Shamar Brooks, the use of the feet. And anytime you think about Brooks, the word elegance comes to mind. Bolden. Typical commentator's curse, Ayan Khan. The persistence pays off. We spoke about into the wicket at Sharjah. Not as much bounce as Shamar Brooks would have hoped. He's lost his wicket, chopped on, as we say in the Caribbean. 20 off 22 for Shamar Brooks. 163 for 3, the West Indies. Well picked up by Casey Carty in the gap as well. Placement. Aerial and 6. Got that off the middle of the bat and all of a sudden... One over has made a huge difference for Casey Carty. Four and now maximum. Yes, yes. Loud catch and taken. Lovefried comes into business. He takes a catch. Ayan gets his man. He'd been toiling for hours and finally gets the piece of a meat. Well, again, it was a slightly lazy shot by Chase. Uh, maybe he had two minds whether should, should I go or not and he finally did didn't quite give it the full flow and a nothing shot to uh, long on and uh, the West Indies lose their fourth wicket now for 187 wait on offer and taken ooh safe just forcing the batsman to do a little more. And Carty got a little fed up with these deliveries. There was a little bit of room outside off, I must admit. Got the outer half of the bat. And an altogether easy catch in the covers. Another very important wicket taken. Carty was there with his skipper. And he'll be a little disappointed. He didn't show Shea Hope. Uh, bigger, better game. Goes for 32 from 39. Just a short role played today. As the West Indies are now 5 down for 206. It was a fine leg, but he was very wide. Don't think he picked it up initially. A welcome boundary for Hodge and the West Indies. Well, this time through the offside, even better. Back-to-back -back boundaries coming. Hodge is feeling it. Oh, that's a gift. Way too easy for Kevin Hodge. He showed the intent. Clears the rope easily. Cleans him up. Nasir, what a comeback this has been. Went for 13 overs. Didn't put his head down. Instead, he's rewarded for his persistence. A bit cute from Calvin Hodge, I thought, initially looking at it. Yeah. Straight delivery. Ali Nazar hitting the top of off. You always ask bowlers to hit the stumps, and he did exactly that. They miss, you hit. Calvin Hodge gone for 26. West Indies 249 for 6. Taken straight away, Sanchez Sharma. It's been a tough day at the office for him. But the man who's in his fifth one international, bit of a golden arm because he's got the captain. Huge wicket. 
fair delivery for sure. Shea Hope would not be happy with that. Hanging his bat outside the off stump. The intent was definitely there and it needed to be. But he suffered the loss of his wicket, Shea Hope. And the captain trudges back to the pavilion. Twenty-three off twenty-five and the West Indies two four nine for seven. And there's hope there as Sanchit Sharma gets one right in the block hole. What a fabulous delivery to get rid of Karai. Yannick Karia, the batsman on this occasion, just played down the wrong line. It was full, it was straight. You miss, I hit. Pretty simple from Sanchit Sharma. Number eight goes down for the Windies. Uh, it's a great comeback from the home team. Well, Yannick Karia making the long walk back for seven of 14. As UAE are now eight wickets of Windies that they've taken, just 273 on the board. This is a great comeback. Looks like this might just run away. It does. A handy boundary for the Windies. Bolded shot, a wild heave, and the ball will race away towards the fence for runs. Now Zahur gets one more, right in the block hole, and Drakes this time cannot bring his bat down. This time the batsman, he didn't have much of an answer. That is precision from Zahur Khan. Wicket number nine goes down for the Wendy's. And hey, maybe even less than 300. Possible Drake's back. Eight of 12. And the Wendy's nine for 293. Full toss in the air and smacked. The umpire will call it a boundary. And he does that. Cleaned him up. It's Smith, the big unit gone. Zahur Khan looks up, thanks the Almighty, and he's done what was expected from him. Cleaning up the Windies, not letting them score too many. Smith doesn't know what happened. There were two more deliveries to go. Has the foot stayed inside? Yes, it has. And Zahur will ensure that he leads the pack off in style. UAE, the home team, will need 307 in their allotted 50 overs to level the series. They are one match down in this three-match series. But 307 is a tall total for anyone, any time. But it's this man, the captain, who got out second ball in the first match, who will hope to start things out well. Wait. Here we go. 307 for a win. The UAE chase. Right on the mark straight away. Oh, brilliant. The skipper. Well, this time pierces the gap. Still played away from the body, but obviously saw the ball well. Edge. Mohammed Wasim. A lonely walk back. This is terrible. Akeem Jordan, welcome to the ODI Wicket Club. Continuing to hit that good length. Not as much swing on offer. He's adjusted his length from his usual skill set. And he's found the edge of Mohamed Wazim, who's gone for six. UAE 15 for one. Well, that's a shot. And we called it. Likes to just stay there. Wait for the width. Which was there on offer. And he smacked it. Oh, 
pushing towards the third man region and will get a boundary. A bit streaky on that occasion. Did he intend for it to go that fine? You'll never know. And gone. Predicted and exact to the script. Unfortunate Aryan Sharma. It almost felt, it gave the impression that he was expecting the short ball. And the second he saw the fuller delivery, was happy to flick it. The only problem was that he picked the fielder. It was a mixed bag. He saw a few good shots from Aryan Sharma. 20 for, of 22 for the youngster. And UAE, 37 for 2. Darting it down the leg side, the ball will raise away. Odin Smith will just jog and fetch the ball back. Inside edge, and we'll get those runs. Boundary there for Vrithi Arvind. And he's got him. The story will stay untold. Clean bold as Lovepreet on debut just scores six. And a simple gap between bat and pad. And he absolutely loves it, does Kevin Hodge. And the West Indies have number three. And they are once again in command. Lovepreet Singh on debut, a short stint as he departs for six of 20. And UAE 52 for three. Looking to be expansive. Much needed intent from Vritya Arvin. Taken. What a grab. Dominic Drakes. You beauty. This wicket belongs to Sh Captain Shea Hope. He's asked Dominic Drakes to be three quarters and just outside the circle. What a grab. This is your fast bowler we're talking about. Taking a few steps to his right. Not his strongest hand, may I add. And diving away full length. Asif gone for four. There's the skipper. What's he thinking? Oh my God. Again, it wasn't my day today. Some bounce. He managed to get to the top of it. And he's helped that along for another boundary. In ODI cricket, we'll come back to that because Basil Amid said, Charu, did you just say something about not lifting the ball in the air? Because let take this, he <laughs> says, into the stands. <laughs> Intent, unfortunately, gone wrong. And it's the youngster, Vritya Arvind, a leading edge straight to gully. Yannick Korea hasn't taken too long to take his first wicket. Well, he was a quality bowler, that's for sure. The turn was there. Rithya got tricked into thinking, I can hit this one big. Outside edge, easy pop-up to backward point. Couldn't have been an easier catch for Shamar Brooks. And uh, Carrier strikes in only his second over. Look how gutted Rithya Arvind is. He should be, having done all the hard work again as he did in that first one day at 36 from 52. Five gone now for 95. Right when I say that, he's happy to use the long handle to mighty good effect. Ali Nasir says, I'll tonk one over mid-wicket for a six. This time, once again, on the bounce. A six followed by a four, much to the appreciation of the few members that are here at the Sharjah International Ground. Just past Chase. Riveting stuff from the youngster. What a contribution this has been. 20 from 9 now. Swings it around, escapes the man at fine leg and will get a boundary after what? 46 balls, a boundary for the UAE. Lofted. Mid-off was in. And that's a handsome 6. 
Just stood there, delivered, was over pitched. And I have to admit. Six number two for the right hander. Almost sent it to the moon. Shining away overhead here in Sharjah. There is a man, picks him out. Hakeem Jordan makes no mistake. He falls one short of his one international 50. And success for Austin Chase on the final delivery of his spell. You have to sense moments in games. And in the 40s, he looked a little bit nervous, really wanting to get to that personal milestone. Nicely flighted by Rostin. And Basil Hamid is cracked under the pressure of an impending 50. Good knock nonetheless. 49 off 84. 175 for 6, the UAE. Went pace off. Mid on was up. And it's gone all the way for 6. Robust strike. Goes again. And it's going to be a boundary. And 50. For Ali Nasir, second in two matches in his first two one day internationals. Young man, you are something special. That is big. Staggering. And another maximum for Ali Nasir, his fourth on the night. Maybe one too many. And is. Kevin Hodge has the last laugh. But a credible knock from this young man. The situation called for it. He could hold on no longer. Had to mash the accelerator and he did it in fine form until this dismissal. Hold your head high, son. You've impressed us all. And you've done it with a plump. Gone for 50. 198 for 6. Takes on the pace. And it was this pace that got him out in the first ODI. But Ayan Khan is not backing down. Takes him on again. Similar result. This young man has got an uncanny cricket IQ. And is showing... And of course, the bowling attack will look very different in those qualifiers. You think about Holder, Akil Hossein, Alzari Joseph. But still an excellent win for Captain Shea Hope with the group he's got. Those on the fringes, those wanting to get to the next level, they've won the series. It's the first series win for Shea Hope and Darren Sammy and his management team. Two twenty-eight for seven is all they could muster. UAE, but Nasser Ali, Ali Nasir, sorry, back to back fifties in this series. Jonathan Charles and Brandon King, hundred and forty-four run opening stand, set the tone for the Windies.